All right, good everybody. This is Imar Soptu. We're joined by Maddie McKissick from Georgia Tech Volleyball. I'm very excited to have her today. The team has been selected for the NCAA tournament and just wanted to catch up with her before they head to Omaha. Uh, but Maddie, first, what what's it like for the program uh, as a team to be selected to the NCAA tournament for the first time since 2009? Yeah, it's unreal honestly um it feels like finally all of our hard work is paying off as a team and we just have a great group of girls um we have a really deep team this year um everybody is really talented on the team and um it's just been an awesome experience feeling like your hard work is paying off and that we still have a lot more work to do but it's a great first step in taking this program to the next level um, which has been all of our goals um, coming in since freshman year. Um, so it's just been super rewarding and awesome and fun. And we're super excited to see what else this team can do. What's this like been like, what's this year like been for the team? Uh, having to have a fall season, then take a break and now have a spring season. And now just have this culmination, at least for now, of being selected in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, it's been different than anything I think any of us have ever had to deal with but it's made us a lot stronger in the end and um it's been fun you know playing this whole year um it's also been a lot harder than usual just mentally staying focused um even when we had that break knowing that um we had to come back still strong and to try to finish off what we did in the fall season as well um so it's been mentally challenging but also super rewarding and um, made us better as a team and I think prepared us um, in the long run to be able to, you know, go through adversity and fight through things even when they're hard. You mentioned the adversity. You went through that last year uh, when you were very qualified on paper to be in the NCAA tournament but were not selected. Uh, now you're able to turn that around and win the, I guess, the NIVC national championship. But what did you take from last year and that disappointment in not being the NCAA tournament? and transitioned over into this year? I think it motivated us all a lot um, as a team and made us all stronger. We knew what we had to do and what we, um, what we were capable of doing last year. And so I think it made us super, super focused on the end goal and um, made us work even harder because we did have a great year last year, but we knew that in, it had to, we had to do something different to make it to the tournament this year, um, even when there's less teams selected. So it made us grow a lot as a team and fight through all those, um, you know, mental challenges that we had um, not making the tournament last year and just kind of put a chip on our shoulder and we knew what we had to do to get the job done for this year. Now you individually, you were selected to the second team all ACC uh, team. Uh, what was that like for you? I, I, talking with Coach Kaye throughout the year, you've been dealing with injuries and working your way back up, back onto the court. Uh, first of all, how are you feeling physically? And uh, what's that like to receive that All-ACC honor? Um, I'm feeling great. Um, my foot feels a lot better. I just had like a little, you know, ankle injury, but I'm feeling a lot better and I feel like I'm back at a hundred percent. I'm slowly getting back into the rhythm of like um, game like situations and getting more time out there on the court with my teammates has been super like a, a great honor for me. And um, I'm really thankful for coach Michelle trusting me, you know, being out there coming back from injury. It's meant a lot to me playing with my teammates um, this, these last few games. But the award, the AC second team, I was not expecting that at all. Um, it's super humbling and honestly it makes me emotional thinking about it because, um, you know, this year was like very different and hard on all of us as a team. And we fought through so much and going through an injury is never easy. Um, not being able to play with your teammates uh, is hard. Um, and just seeing Bella step into that role has been an honor. And I'm so proud of her for like the way she played and um, how to step into that position. Um, so getting that award, I'm like, I just feel like it's a team award because my team has done such a good job um, adjusting and, you know, fighting through all the challenges we had this year and still performed great. And I'm just lucky enough to be out there again and uh, 
um, it's just an honor for me to receive that on behalf of the team. I think it's definitely just, I couldn't do it without them and without the great passing, making my job so much easier coming back from an injury. Yeah, do you see yourself in a mentor role with uh, Labella, a freshman that had to go into that setter position? Uh, did you did you see yourself trying to help her out and, and uh, just keep the, the offense going? Yeah, I did the best that I could um, trying to talk to her and help her. Um, but she's super talented. Um, so she's a great setter. And I was just trying to help her with, you know, what I saw from the sideline and um, would try to talk to her, watch film with her before the game. So I did my best trying to help her, but she's she's great. So she did an awesome job. And now you prepare to go to Omaha. So a unique setup with the NCAA tournament. You're going to be in one location, uh, kind of similar with the other NCAA tournaments with uh, being quarantined and kind of in your own bubble. Uh, what do you anticipate when you get down there uh, as far as the NCA experience? I'm not really sure what to expect. Um, I wouldn't know what to expect being in the tournament without the bubble, but I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting. They're going to be probably really strict with protocols and things. So I'm just excited to play volleyball. I think that's what our team's focusing on, Let all the other stuff that we can't control, you know, let that fly, let that happen, um, however they want it to. But we're just excited to get out there and play some good volleyball and um, hopefully upset a few teams. Do you think playing these neutral site contests uh, throughout the regular season kind of gives you that you're used to being in the, that unique scenario with the ACC and uh, playing those two games in a row? Do you think you feel better prepared for the NCAA tournament? Yeah, I think... I, I never really thought of it like that, but also playing back to back, I think is going to help us too. We've been playing back to back for the whole season for this last spring part of the season. So I think um, all of those things are going to be in a, to an advantage for us. Um, and I hope that that shows when we're out there playing. Yeah. And I talked with coach Carrier earlier this week and it's not the interviews on our site. Uh, she said you were allowed to celebrate Sunday evening when the selection was made, but then Monday morning you were back on the court uh, getting ready for the match. Uh, how do you do that as a team? You have the, you have, how do you balance the excitement of being in the NCAA tournament, but then also knowing that you're obviously you're focused and you, you have a competition to prepare for? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we've been practicing this whole year to make it to the tournament. So we were super excited and then we knew we had to get back out there and practice to make a statement in the tournament and show everybody what we can do and that we deserve to be in the tournament. And I think we're all super focused on that and have tried our best to prepare for this opportunity our whole careers and even this year. So we're all super focused and just ready to keep playing and we're excited to keep playing volleyball. Yeah. And lastly, you're facing Lipscomb in the first round. They the champions from the Atlantic Sun Conference. Have you done some research on them yet, kind of seeing what their system is and uh, what do you anticipate, at least for that matchup? Yeah, um, we've been scouting them um, on our own for now, and we've been kind of practicing a few things in practice that we know that they're going to challenge us with. But our scouting really will start on the back end of practice this coming week um, leading up to the game. We kind of want to focus on ourselves and make our side of the our side of the game the best that we can. So we're prepared um, to, you know, play anything that they throw at us. But we're definitely going to start scouting them more heavily this uh, at the end of the week. But we're just focusing on us and trying to play the best best volleyball that we know how we can play. So. Well, Maddie, thank you for your time once again, and uh, good luck. Uh, safe travels to Omaha. Thank you.